During this COVID-19 pandemic, many folks may be struggling to find their next meal. Our friends at Prodigy Pantry are going above and beyond to provide food to some Baldwin County residents. Deanne Servos with Prodigy Pantry joins us this morning via Skype. Good morning. Good morning. We are so excited to see you. I know we usually see you in the studio, but it's good to talk with you again. Now, you guys have been so busy during this pandemic. We want to talk about what you've been doing the past couple of weeks, months while this is all going on. Well, we've held three distributions and each distribution equates to this amount of food going out that we would typically give in a month. So we are servicing over a thousand food units every Tuesday morning. Baldwin County families um, are really starting to feel that pocketbook pinch. You know, the, their paychecks have been withheld. Um, they're staying home with their kids. So more and more Baldwin County families are seeking assistance with the most basic of things, food and hope, and we are here to provide those. Why is it important to you guys to give back, you know, at any time of the year, but especially now during this uncertain time? We realize and recognize that families are struggling. It is difficult to balance if you've never faced this before. We've had 700 families in the first three weeks that never visited Protestant Pantry in the 17 years we've been distributing food. Those families are facing new challenges. What bills do I pay? How do I put food on the table? We want the community to be confident that Protestant Pantry is here to provide food to Baldwin County families who are struggling financially. We are asking the community to continue to support our efforts so that we can continue long term. We have no end date right now as to when emergency mass distributions will be able to end. Now we do want to talk about the process and what this distribution line looks like. I know recently you guys just changed it up with the amount of people coming in and out, but if someone is interested, they're a Baldwin County residents. First, they need to have a couple of requirements and we want to talk about what that process is in order to get that food. We are now asking all Baldwin County residents who need food assistance to go to the Spanish Fort High School. They will access the Spanish Fort High School via Jimmy Faulkner Boulevard and then turn left on Plaza de Toro Road. When they come to the high school, we are asking them to bring a photo ID and proof that they live in Baldwin County. But most important, we need them to bring their patients. It is a long process but we will provide healthy foods to everyone who comes and reports to the Spanish Fort High School off of Jimmy Faulkner Boulevard. And finally, for you know some of us who are doing okay, maybe a lot of us still have our jobs. If you guys need help and someone is feeling led to give back, how can we help you? Is that through volunteerism? Is that through donating cash or food? The most efficient and effective way to help Prodigy Pantry right now is by going online and donating. For $15, we can really buy a lot of groceries that we can then share with your neighbor in need. Online support, checks in the mailbox, they all allow us to continue to purchase food, to fill food bags for our neighbors in need during this COVID-19 pandemic. We also do need some volunteer support. And if you are interested in volunteering and you don't fall into any of the high risk categories, then we ask that you email us at volunteer at prodigypantry.org. That way we can schedule volunteers. We're working on a skeleton crew to minimize the risk to those volunteering and to the families in our community. So we thank the community for their support and prayers because prayers are most important and everyone can pray for Prodigy Pantry and for our community during the COVID-19 pandemic. All right, Deanne, thank you so much. Again, ProdigyPantry.org. There you can find more information if you need help or if you're wanting to volunteer or donate. Thank you so much for spending your time with us this morning. And of course, we're gonna all get through this together.